Okay, YouTube, another little experiment I'm showing you here. Again, at AccuWeather. Thank you again, AccuWeather.com, for providing these tools. This is the radar, the live radar. See the time up there? Okay, actually, this one's brought to you by Bing Radar, huh? That's one of their sources for their radar. Now, you can see no returns here except for up here, up here. I'm going to take you to one of their other maps to show you their geoengineering machines that work nationwide. See this now? See the difference? Pow. 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 These are all Doppler radar weather generating and manipulating machines. One up here. Now let's zoom out, shall we? To your region. Yeah, there to zoom out the region there. I've already explained to this in my previous videos. This was happening. Zoom out the nation and and uh, hit play. There you go again. Second day in a row, as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen. Major storms. Look at that. Okay. Major storms. Town, Louisiana. I'd hate to be right there. I would really hate to be right there down south. We're talking immense damage. That's probably worse than Katrina right now. Okay. And these are all X Rad machine, all this stuff here. They'll call it false echoes. I call it geoengineering. It's obvious because it takes intense power there generate those returns. I showed you the previous radar where it wasn't there. Okay. Now, I want you to pay close attention to that gap there. See? Watch them come on and turn off. And these are really high-powered radars, folks. They're used to cook the atmosphere to do that to you. If you're down there in Louisiana right now and you suffer any damage or any loss of life or injury please refer to my site and call a lawyer and sue okay talk to your insurance company say listen this is not a man-made or a, a act of God it's a man-made okay you need to sue who's responsible for it the reason why the cover-up is is because there's lawsuits that's why they're not telling you in your face because you could sue the pants off of them how many homes are de destroyed down there, huh? How many homes are destroyed up over here? It's Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Katrina. When was the last time you saw a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico? Since the BP oil spill. That's right. They geoengineered the Gulf there, so it won't have hurricanes because if it did, it would churn up all that oil sitting at the bottom and wash it all up on Florida shores and all along the Gulf Coast. No hurricanes for... What, three, three years? What's going on? That's going on right up there. Look at that. Proof. Those are your, some call it TTA, Next Rad Doppler. It's this high powered microwave radar that's frequencies is cooking the particles that are sprayed up there in layers to create the storms and manipulate and drive them and put them exactly where they want. Look at that thing just twisting it around. Okay. Up here, that's another. Okay. But this is just a very important documentation so that we can get a chronological. That's why I'm doing a lot of uploads. You can look at all these false returns in here call them false returns, but look at that. What's going on there in Texas? Yeah. Pay close attention. These things are right in front of you people. Please listen to my videos and and uh, take heed. If you're not listening, this is really just personal documentation to me because I communicate with public officials in my community and say, please refer to my website. All the evidence is there. 
All right, those are the views I want. I, I appreciate you visiting my website and getting the word out about your personal situation, and that's the whole nation. Okay. What? What's going on? Look at you. Turning it on. Beam. There you go. Okay. Turning it on. Beam. <laughs> Just incredible. This is why I stay up late at night because you won't find, well, you may find some of this during the day, especially if we get storming like this during the day. But in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, this is what's going on, on your, over your head. Well, actually in your bed because those particles fall to the ground densely. Go outside with a flashlight, shine it up in the air, and you can see them right at ground level and you're breathing them in. You'll never, you won't want to go outside without a mask, at least not at night, as the cold air makes it fall to the ground and it gets cold. Just look at that. If that isn't geoengineering. These are not false echoes, not on this mass scale. I can see one false echo, okay, if it was a false echo, like up here in my state, if it was just a false, but it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Are you telling me that all these radars are malfunctioning at once? Because if those are false echoes, you cannot rely on those readings. You cannot rely on them. They cannot predict. This is all fake, right? 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, May 13th on AccuWeather.com. I'm not manipulating any of this. So there you go. I don't know what more to say to you guys. There. Look at that circle. Here, I'm talking about the gaps in here. That's what they're designed to do. Create the dry lines, keep it from raining on one place, and making it rain where they really want the damage. Okay. I wonder what's going on down at that sinkhole right now with all that weather. Huh? All that methane. And it's not swamp gas anymore, people. That's methane down there. And you do not want to breathe that in. There's enough concentration, you'll be dead in 20 minutes. Like they were dying out there in the Gulf, went after BP. And they can't even get near, actually, the site. So it's not capped. They can't even get near because there's so much methane in the, in the environment that a person would die in 20 minutes. Check that one out. BP cover-up. No hurricanes in the Gulf since BP. That's the cover. They put spray all that corrects it out there, and that's not what's keeping it from not raining, but it keeps the oil down below where you can't see it. And if they have a hurricane that turns it up and washes it all on shore, you'll see it then. Arkansas is just a tiny, tiny, tiny pin drop in the bucket compared to what's down there. Ready to wash up all over your shores, and it will one day. It's not going away. They're not pumping that out of there. They're keeping it there. They're turning the whole Gulf of Mexico into a giant algae farm. Alright. Doesn't make sense to grow algae here, but it makes sense for growing it out there and farming it out there in mass. So they pollute your Gulf to do that because algae is a better source than oil. You'll get more money out of the algae than you will out of oil. You'll spend one barrel of oil to get a hundred barrels or a thousand barrels even worth a profit compared to now you spend one barrel of oil and you get six back that's why they don't care about oil anymore alright well that's my evening rant here at 1.18 a.m. that's uh, Eastern Standard Time I believe I just can't get over two days in a row. I've, I've seen these before and they break out during something, but this is just intense. This is really intense. You need to tell them no more. You need to let Mother Nature snap back and do it on her own. And we got to take the rain that the Lord gives us. And even the storms. Well, I love you all out there in the good old U.S. of A., Mexico and Canada, too, and in the world, like Jesus. Amen.